In this video, we're going to take a brief look at how to create random Boolean values of true and false, and a little bit about uh, some other choices that you can create as well. So let's import random, and let's create a variable, and let's set it equal to random.random, and print A. All right, so now every time we run this, we're going to get a new random double value down at the bottom that you can see. If we want to convert this into an integer, what we can do is we can put int around it, and then it's going to give us a value always of zero, pretty much. Uh, the reason for this is that all of these values go from zero up to one, and making it an integer rounds down it's almost the same as if you import math math dot ceiling will uh, sorry math dot floor will also bring it down and just chops up any of the decimal places and then and leaves you with what's there which would give you zero or math dot ceiling which rounds up sorry math dot seal which rounds up right and would always give you one. So let's leave that off for now and go back here. If we want it to be in the range of zero and one, then we can add 0 0.5 to it to shift it over. And then you can see that it goes back and forth a little bit between one and zero. All right, and if we want to turn that into a Boolean, we just wrap that again in bool and gives us true false values. Another way to accomplish this is by saying random dot random int and put in a range as it says down at the bottom 0 to 1. All right, so it's going to give us a value of 0 in the range 0 to 1 including both of those parameters. And let's just say, <coughs> let's just say b, b equals, and then print b. All right, and it's going to give us values between zero and one. There we go. And we want to wrap this again in boolean, and it will give us a boolean value, true or false. Uh, another the one that you can do is random dot get rand bits. All right, let's get one bit, which is basically going to be a byte, a zero or one. And this is probably the fastest method to do it, to get zero and one. So here it's getting the next bit from this, a random stream. And then again, wrap this in the Boolean. All right, and we see it's giving us true and false. And one of the last methods I want to show you is random.choice. And in here you put a set of choices that you want to use in an array. All right, and then that's going to go through and randomly, evenly, yeah, sorry, uniformly distributedly select true or false. All right, so we do that again, and you can see we can get true and false. All right, print a. You can see we can get these values true and false.